Morning, welcome to the shed. It's very early. Sun's just come up. Well, light has just come up. Um, so today we're doing another little restoration project, another one of my market finds. Um, it's this, it's a spoke shave. Uh, I'm sure you probably know what a spoke shave is for, but it's basically for, it's like a plane that can do concave uh, surfaces. So for, you know, backs of chairs, that sort of thing. Just sort of for carving out a curve, really. Um, yeah, so I think I paid a pound for this. It was blue. I don't really like blue as a colour, but I might go go with blue on this one. Uh, I've noticed that this this doesn't look like the right setup. I don't know if they've replaced the screw and just had to pack it out with washers. It's also very rusty, so it's lock solid. So the first thing we've got to do is try and strip it down. Uh, then we will clean it up. This bit here has to remain as, as metal, don't want any paint on that bit. Blade looks like it could be sharpened. I don't think it'll fit in my jig though, so I'll have to do that by hand. Okay, let's uh, get started. Start by stripping it down and then uh, get it on the old wire brush. Let's do it. So I think as it's jammed solid, although I don't really want to be aggressive on it, I might have to be, uh, but we'll start by to see if we can get this screw out. That might loosen everything up. Hmm. The screw looks right, so maybe it just has different packing washers for different size blades. I don't know. Okay. Oh, well that was easier than I thought. Blade is beveled down, just remember that. So we'll clean that up in a minute. Bit of tat in there. Presumably these are just like adjuster screws then. Let's see if we can get them undone without damaging it too much. Should have got some uh, WD-40 on here, shouldn't I? It is coming undone though, so that's good. I don't think the screws themselves come out or the threaded studs. Oh, they do come out. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Ah, that could cause me a few problems. Okay. Start by tightening it first, just to loosen it off. Okay. Well, it is moving. I think I'd better get some WD-40 in there. Okay, not very much of this left, but. It's coming off now. Cool, that's good. Got my hands mucky again. Oh, now the stud's gonna come out, isn't it? Oh no, it's coming. Oh, 
Okay, right, those two adjuster nuts have come out. Uh, I think I can leave the studs in there. Doesn't seem to be any reason to take those out. Okay, let's go over to the wire wheel and start cleaning it up. come up quite nicely. I'll carry on with the rest. So I have cleaned that up as best I can. Most of the paint's come off. It's quite pitted, but I think that's just the original casting. I don't think there's much I can do about that. A little bit of paint in there, which I can't get out. I'm gonna give that a wash, because I'm absolutely filthy. Didn't realize how dirty that was gonna be. Uh, yeah, give that a wash, warm it up, get it ready for painting. I am gonna paint it blue, I've decided, because it was blue and it probably should still be blue. Okay. Uh, I'll go and give that a wash, clean up the other bits, and uh, I'll show you just before we uh, paint it. That's the difference before and after, or before and after. Come up nice. That's the constituent parts all cleaned and ready for painting, sharpening, and I guess oiling on these bits. These washers do look like they're the correct thing, so maybe that's just the way these work. The screw definitely is. I suppose it's for different thickness of blades, so I'm not really sure. Okay, I'll have a look online and see what other people have got on theirs. Maybe there's just a, a collar missing, but it'll be okay for me. Okay, let's paint first. So that's it painted. That's quite easy. It looks quite nice in the blue. Not my favorite color, but let's keep it original. Um, that's gonna need another coat. So I will give it a couple of hours to dry. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm gonna have a go at sharpening that blade a bit. So luckily it does fit in my jig, just. So this should be quite easy. I wasn't able to measure the angle, but I may have been able to match it. So we should be okay. This is the 280 grit just to get it square and straight. Just 
just finishing up the blade on the 6000 grit. Get 30 seconds or so on here. Uh, I've set, set this for a micro bevel. It's got a, this gauge has got a, uh, a little setting on the side to raise it up by a degree, which is very handy. Oops. Okay, that's sharp. So I'm very happy with how my spoke shave has turned out. It took two coats of hammerite paint and about 48 hours to cure properly, although it's now been about a week because I, uh, I had some delays, which I'll tell you about in a moment. Um, so yeah, I think it really does look very, very nice. I was kidding myself that these half a dozen washers were part of the original plane. As soon as I started researching I realised that I was missing a fairly significant part uh, and that is a cap iron to hold the blade in place. So the blade sits in here and comes through the throat there, got that the right way around, yeah, uh, and sits in these wheels for adjustment. Now the washers obviously aren't going to hold that strong uh, in a strong enough position so what I was missing, as soon as I did a bit of research, I realised I was missing the cap iron, which, I mean, basically this is a small plane, so it needs that strength across the front of the blade, otherwise it's going to start bouncing and moving. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I did a bit of research, found out that, yeah, I was missing a piece. So I managed to order one on eBay, took a week to arrive uh, due to the Christmas post, but I've got that now, so we're going to fit that in a moment. While I was doing my research on eBay, uh, discovered these are actually go for about 20 quid so I'm quite happy with the pound that I paid even though I did have to pay six pound for the new part that I ordered uh, but that's okay also things like these thumb thumb wheels these go for five pounds fifty each on eBay so that's worth remembering uh, if I see another one of these even if I just break it up for parts and stick them on eBay okay so let's uh, I'll show you the cap iron that I bought it was ready to roll it's an old one and it has got a couple of little pits in it, but it's a nice one, fits okay. Let's get it ready and assembled. I'll bring you in closer. Okay, let's start the assembly. So the wheels are already in place, the blade is sharp, and that sits in there like so, and protrudes underneath. The two locator lugs from the wheels sit in the blade like so. So we can get rid of the washers, we don't need those. Uh, and then we can slide this or turn the screw in there and fit the cap iron on there. Now I realise people might be thinking, oh, that's a bit naive of me to not realise that there should be something extra on there. But as I say, I am learning this. I'm not pretending to be an expert. I'm learning as I go and enjoying the experience and hopefully you are too. Okay, so that's the cap iron in place. It's a bit sim it's similar to the uh, Stanley 110 in the way it works. Tighten that down and then this clamps against that screw and against the blade. I haven't tightened that down enough. That actually seats all the way down, so I think that makes it easy to set. So now I can adjust my blade till I can feel it coming through. Tighten up my cap iron. There we go, all set, ready for action. I'm gonna cut out a piece of wood with a bit of a curve to it and we'll give it a little test. Bear in mind this is the first time I've used one of those these since I was at school, so it may not go well. I've got a very fine shaving, hopefully. Do 
need to keep the uh, blade clear because it's quite a small, thin aperture. Okay, that's working quite nicely. Pushing away actually. I think it's partly my technique obviously needs improving. And also the setup of this blade is not quite right. I also need to make sure I clear the blade every single time. Obviously my technique uh, needs some improvement, but I will work on it. As I say, it's the first time I've used this uh, since my school days. Um, so that's basically it for this video. I'm very happy with how that turned out. Why not? get down the local flea market or get on eBay, um, find yourself something like this and spend a, a few hours doing it up. It's really good fun, honestly. Uh, and, and you end up with something at the end of it, which might make a profit on if you want to, or you can put it in your collection. It's a good way of getting, getting hold of tools. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.